Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. My name is Jen. I am a full-time working mom. I have two kids and in these videos, I just like to share with you what I eat in a day, kind of vlog style. So today I have a super busy day at work and by that I mean I have literally back-to-back -back conference calls all day long with like a one half hour break in the middle of the day. So I'm going to make myself some coffee right now. I am going to get the kids lunches together. Um, I packed most of them last night so that was good and then you can just follow along with me on my day see what I eat and uh, see what I can get done around the house and I think tonight we're having tacos so that's always exciting okay so I thought I would share with you guys what I packed for the kids lunch today um, I did this last night so Connor has some wheat thins some grapes some cheese cubes some sugar snap peas and then he's got some leftover uh, like barbecue baked chicken that we had to dip in some ranch and then one of you guys sent me these fruit and veggie gummies that are actually really good so I'm gonna include one of those in his lunch and some water these are in the yum boxes so we really like these I can link them down below they have different sizes they even have like adult sized ones too but uh, this is Kira's she's got some turkey sticks some cheese cubes um, these are the coconut cashew crisps they're actually really good I've got these at Aldi some gummies um, this is a mixture of cashews and uh, strawberry banana chips so these are the bear brand they're really good and then some grapes okay so I think I'm actually going Going to brew a pot of coffee this morning so it can stay warm and Adam may take some to work he's actually going to work today he's been working from home for um, the most part but as more and more people get vaccinated he's been going in for certain days to do certain things so I actually had to get a replacement coffee pot like the carafe part because I was pulling mine out of the um, dishwasher the other day and it broke so this is a replacement from Walmart it says it's kind of a generic replacement so we're gonna see if it worked well it seems to be working so that's good uh, this coffee is actually from Denver Huckleberry Roasters I got this through my trade coffee subscription which I've really been liking that because I can try different coffees from sort of around the country and they send it to you like really fresh like this was just roasted on March 18th so it's kind of cool all right coffee is done life-giving coffee oh beautiful all right, so I'm gonna go take a shower. I apologize for not being presentable <laughs> yet, but it's still a little bit early and I didn't have time to take a shower last night before I went to bed because I, I did a workout on the spin bike and I was just too tired. So anyway, I'm gonna go do that. All right, so I just finished getting ready. I thought I would share with you my <laughs> incredibly black on black outfit today. So I just have black leggings. These are my Vionic slippers. I love them a lot. This is an oversized uh, sort of like tall neck sweater from uh, where's it from? Old Navy. It's really big on me, but I like it that way. And then I've got my red frames on. I can link all of this stuff down below. And then my earrings are from Kendra Scott. Uh, my hair is still wet. I don't have time to dry it. So I just threw it on top of my head and I'm going to get to work. It's about 9.15 and I have about 10 minutes to make myself smoothie for breakfast. I'm going to make a Kenko smoothie. And thank you to Kenko for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to share with you how I use their smoothies to get in more fruits and veggies. Because as we all know, we need to be eating at least five servings of fruits and veggies per day but if you're anything like me that can be difficult on some days especially when you are super rushed and you don't have time to make good food choices so kinko smoothies are actually made with only fruits and vegetables there's no added sugar which is something that i've been paying attention to recently in my diet and something that really attracted me to this brand the other thing that really impressed me about kinko was that when you go on their site and you look at their products they don't just make like blanket claims they actually have of medical studies and other studies to back up their claims. So as we all know, obviously eating, you know, fruits and veggies can help increase our life expectancy and, you know, decrease our risk of chronic illnesses. Um, but as someone who works in the medical field, it's really important for me to see companies backing that up with evidence, which is what they're doing. So the way you can use Kenko smoothies is very flexible. If you are an on the go person and you don't have access to a regular blender, you can 
can use their blender bottle, which is this, and it is super cool. Look how cool that looks. So if you're on the go, all you have to do is grab one of the packets, grab your blender bottle, and you can mix this with either plant milk or water. And I would recommend too looking on their website. They have a place on their website where they have different recipes and suggestions um, about which powders to use with which liquids. But what I think is awesome is each one of these packets contains over half of what you need in a day for fruits and vegetables. So the coral one has a third of a beetroot, half an apple, a third of a carrot, quarter of an orange, fifth of a mango, ginger, and all of the fiber is left in there. No added sugar, no nothing. So what I have done before is mix these up with either water or plant milk right in the blender bottle. Since I'm at home today, I'm actually going to make it in my Nutribullet. But when I get back to traveling for work, I'm looking forward to taking these with me because as you guys know, when you're on the road, <laughs> You tend to eat a lot crappier than when you're at home and getting in all your fruits and veggies can obviously be a chore, but this is something that is definitely gonna help me out. So I'm gonna use the Jade's one today, which is green. If you wanted to, you could also shake this up with just ice water or chilled water. Um, it says on here and you can make kind of a green juice out of it, but it also has the nutrition facts here on the back if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this in here. I have in here some macadamia nut milk just because that's what I have in my fridge right now. And then I put a few frozen blueberries in there just because when I have smoothies, I like them to be like icy cold. And then I put a half a banana in here just for a little bit of sweetness. All right, so let's give it a taste. It turned out to be like a pretty um, kind of a purple color. That's good. So <laughs> what's interesting is I was looking at the package again and you can really taste the apple in there. Like there's one apple in this packet and an eighth of a lime also. Oh, there's also matcha in this. Interesting. I can totally taste the apple, but then I obviously get the sweetness from the little bit of banana I put in there, but really there's like very little sugar in this. And to me, it's just sweet enough. The only real sugar is coming from obviously like natural fruit. I'm gonna make my husband <laughs> drink these because he is terrible about getting in his fruits and veggies. Like, what is it? I mean, I'm probably making a generalization here, but like, Adam will not eat salad. He's just like, ew, I don't like salad. I mean, I love salad. So I think this could be a great way to have him get his fruits and veggies in, definitely. So if you guys want to try Kinko out and start creating more healthy habits, which is all about what I'm trying to do this year, not just with my food choices, but with my exercise as well. You can go to kenko.com slash Jen Chapin and the first 100 viewers to go to that link will get 25% off your first order, which is an awesome deal. So I'll have that link you can click on in the description box below, but it's kenko.com slash Jen Chapin and the first 100 people will get 25% off your first order. The other thing that's really cool about their site too is they have like a personalized quiz you can take so you can kind of fill out some of your specific like health goals or what you're looking for and then they can tailor your orders to that. So once again, the site is kenko.com slash Jen Chapin. That's K-E-N-C-K-O.com slash Jen Chapin. All right, I'm gonna grab this and get back to work. I think I'm also gonna take a few of these energy balls with me. I'm gonna have all kinds of energy, you guys. What, what? These are the chocolate nut butter oatmeal bites that I meal prepped this weekend. So I just need like a few of these and my smoothie and I'll be set for breakfast. And of course coffee. I always need lots of coffee, clearly. Oh, and look, look at these cute stickers they sent. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for stickers, so. Girl, you know I'm gonna be putting these in my planner. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys quick what I am having for lunch. It is about 12.30 and I've got a tuna salad sandwich on wheat bread. And this is some tuna that I prepped this weekend. So it's just tuna mixed with some, uh, I think it's, I think I used avocado oil, mayo, some pickles, salt and pepper, a little bit of lemon juice. And I have some butter lettuce on there. And then I have some of these Simply White Cheddar Cheetos. These are my favorite. Favorite. If you love puffy Cheetos, you should definitely try these. And then I peeled very messily a, I believe this is a Tangelo. So I've been wanting to get the Sumo oranges, which I did get some a couple weeks ago, but I wasn't able to find them at the grocery store this past weekend. So I got these instead. They're a little more tart and harder to peel, but still good. So I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of my lunch and uh, get back on, uh, get back to some work. And I also do have a glass of, or a cup of cherry, Diet Cherry Pepsi. I actually I think it's a cherry Pepsi Zero with ice. Okay, so it's about 2.45 and I came down to grab some more water and a snack. 
I'm gonna have one of these cookies and cream built bars. They actually just came yesterday in the mail. I had ordered some of these because apparently this flavor is hard to get a hold of and these are really good. I don't even know if they're available anymore on the site, but I had also ordered the raspberry cheesecake ones and those haven't arrived yet, so I'll have to let you guys know about those, but these are definitely delicious. So I'm gonna eat this and get back to work. Okay, so for dinner, I told you guys I was making tacos, but I have some cod in the refrigerator, so I was thinking I could do both regular tacos and make some fish tacos too because this is a recipe that's in my cookbook. So I'll put information on that down below. But anyway, this is a cod here that I have seasoned with salt and pepper. I added some lime juice, chili powder, cumin, salt, did I say salt, pepper. Uh, so I'm just gonna bake these in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes until they are cooked through. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also make some beef taco filling. The butter on top of these, there's just like a small pat of butter, probably like less than a teaspoon. That part is optional, but personally I find when I make these, um, just a tiny bit of butter does like a world of good because when you flake fish, it can be kind of dry, especially if you manage to overcook it a little bit like I sometimes do or we all do. So that's just a tip there. Or you could also drizzle them with olive oil if you're dairy free. Okay, so in my pot here, I have two pounds of ground beef. This is 90-20 and sadly enough, I had to to buy this at the grocery store because we are out of our ground beef from our cow that we got. So I'm gonna season this with some minced onion. I personally do not care if I have real onion in my taco meat, but my kids prefer this. So that is what I use. So anyway, I'm just gonna saute this, uh, maybe season it with some salt and pepper. I'll see if I have to drain it. If there's, there's quite a bit of grease on there. I probably will drain it just because I don't want the taco meat to be greasy. And then I gotta look in the pantry and see what se what taco seasonings I have. Um, but then I'm also going to work on emptying the dishwasher and putting all of my dirty dishes in there. And then I was trying to decide what spin class I was gonna do today. I got a Soul Cycle bike. So this one is live at 7 p.m. So I might try to do this one, although it's 45 minutes long. I'll probably die. No, I'm just kidding but I don't know, we'll see. I think maybe that's the one I'll do. The class I did last night was just like a 20 minute class and um, <laughs> afterwards I was telling Adam, well, he's like, are you super fit now? And I'm like, well, yeah, obviously. I did one spin class, look how fit I am. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, there was even a chubby girl in my class. And he's like, you mean besides you? Okay, first of all, I know there's people that are gonna be like, how disrespectful of him. First of all, I embrace my chubbiness. Second of all, if you are married or if you have ever been married or in a relationship with a sarcastic person, you will know that it is all in good fun. But yeah, besides me. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed about the classes is like there seems to be like diversity in terms of like, you know, skin tone, gender, body size, which I really appreciate that, you know? I just do. Okay, all for now. Okay, so to my surprise, this does not appear to need to be drained. There's really no grease on it. So, let's see what taco sauce I have. Not taco sauce, seasoning. Okay, so we've got Thrive and we've got Tasty Taco. I'm actually doing a taco night with Thrive later this week. week. I can't even talk. In April, I'm doing a live video with Thrive Market and we're gonna make tacos. So stay tuned for that. But I think today I'm gonna use the Tasty Tacos. And I know I've said this before, but normally what I do when I make tacos is I use two pounds of ground beef and one packet of taco seasoning and then I just add like a little bit of extra salt if it needs it. It helps stretch the seasoning and it doesn't make it quite so like doesn't make the taco meat quite so strong. I don't know what I'm talking about. Woof. Woof. I got him some. Uh, okay, so I put my taco seasoning in there, about a cup and a half of water. I always put extra water too, because I'm gonna let this simmer covered for about 10 minutes. All right, so here are the beef tacos. These are on corn tortillas with cheese and onion, lettuce, some um, sour cream. Actually, it's like a lime crema that I made, and hot sauce. Okay, so I'm toasting, I guess not really toasting, just kind of warming up these flour tortillas. I always find that flour tortillas taste a lot better if you warm them up in a dry skillet. This is the lime crema I made. This just has sour cream, lime juice, a little bit of cold water and salt and lime zest. And then, I don't know if you guys can get these in the stores around where you live. I get them from Imperfect, but these are the Mi Rancho uh, tortillas, corn flour. So that's what, they use. that's what we're using. They're like good high quality ones. Okay, so here's how 
how the fish tacos turned out. These are on corn tortillas also. Um, I just put a little bit of cheese, some of that lime crema, which is really good, and cilantro, lettuce, onion, cheese, whatever you guys can see. And I'll um, link this recipe down below on my blog. So <clears throat> I ended up not doing the live class because my Wi-Fi, like, <laughs> It's so spotty upstairs and I, so what I ended up doing was I made a hotspot on my phone and then I tried to connect to that, which worked, but by the time I got into the class, it was like 10 minutes late. So I just ended up doing one of the pre-recorded ones, which was like a 30 minute, like introductory level, which I, I mean, I need introductory level and it's like still, still hard for me. But anyway, um, I'm gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen right now. I need to go downstairs and talk to him about something. And then what else? I don't know what else I'm gonna eat today. Maybe nothing. Maybe something. I don't know. One thing we have discovered this year is that Connor is uh, excelling in school at math. He's in second grade this year, but he's actually old for his grade because his birthday is in August and we waited until he was six to send him to kindergarten. So he's one of the older ones in his class, but I'm always so proud of him when I see his math. <laughs> His math homework come home they um he's doing really well so they actually put him in a uh, what's that called like when they send them to a different class when we when i was in grade school they called it elp i think like or elp extended learning program or they call it like tag talents and a gifted i don't know what they call it now but they send him to a different teacher for part of the day so that he can get like extra work that is you know harder for him or whatever but anyway i just love looking at, at their math homework and their little handwriting i don't save all of the school papers but i do i do save some of them and i have a notebook that i put them all in because i just love looking back at them okay guys good morning i did not finish out my video last night it's early morning the next day and i'm getting ready to work for the day but i just wanted to uh wrap up the what i eat in a day video so i hope that you guys uh enjoyed that this is a pretty normal day for me i feel like i say that every time it's pretty much normal unless um, we go out to eat or something like that, which we're not doing a lot right now. But last time I posted a video about what I eat in a day, we had a little discussion about um, diet culture and I kind of talked about that and how that's affected me in my life and how I have been able to find freedom from that in recent years and not, um, you know, feel bad about eating and counting all my calories and different things like that. And I had a couple questions about like, have I lost weight weight recently? Blah, blah, blah. No, I have not. I actually looked in my fitness pal because I track my weight in there. Usually I weigh myself like every couple weeks, at least once a month I weigh myself and I have weighed the same since November, 2019. So plus or minus like three pounds up and down. I've weighed the same for over a year, I guess about 18 months probably a little less than 18 months so no i have not been trying to lose weight now i am starting an exercise sort of like i don't want to say an exercise regime but one of my goals this year is to incorporate movement into my daily life and make it a habit because that's not something that i do a great job at um but i'm trying and you guys can follow along <laughs> my journey on that again i don't count calories i just try to um you know eat a balanced diet i try to eat fruits and veggies i try not to eat too much fried food i don't know i i just food is a part of life that i don't want to stress about i enjoy cooking i enjoy sharing food content on youtube um sometimes i share healthier food than others but to me it's all about a balance and then i had a couple questions too about like fat acceptance and you know asking um what my opinion is on that and like tess holiday and what my opinion is on her and everything i don't know if i'm gonna make a video on that it's probably gonna be a different video for a different different time because I feel like that's something I haven't really thought a lot about and I need to like formulate my opinions on that you know my first response is to say like live and let live <laughs> like I think we are far too critical of other people and a lot of times we just need to like live our lives and let other people live theirs but anyway that's another story for another time but I wanted to thank you guys for coming along with me on today's video uh, I hope that you enjoyed it I hope you got some ideas for uh, your own eating and if you guys want to check out Kenko I'll have the link in the description box below I do think it is a fantastic way for busy people to get more fruits and veggies in and don't forget there's that discount for the first 100 people people can get 25% off of your first order. It's kenko.com slash Jen Chapin. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.